the show, Melinda Santiago of the S Firm. Hi, Kiki, beautiful Kiki and Chad and everybody. How are you? Man, what's How good? You've been on the line for a minute, so you've been hearing the dialogue that we've been having. The first question I want to ask you, off the tail end of the discussion we were just having about that sisterhood stuff, and is it okay for any of your friends to date your ex, what are your thoughts about that? You know, at this point, because I'm a grown woman and been through many disastrous um, lessons, but I take that there are lessons, so I harbor no ill will. I say what wasn't right for me may not necessarily be wrong for my friend. And I have to honestly say that because you never know why God places certain people in your life when they place them. Mm -hmm. Just because someone comes in and intervenes doesn't necessarily mean the destiny isn't still going to happen. And what I mean by that is I know that in the physicality, I may be attracted to this man, this man may be attracted to me, but our souls aren't matched. But my girl might be her soulmate and don't even know about it, and we just let the physical take over. So my girl, so it just depends, because I can't get mad if me and a guy didn't work out and I come to find out my girl and him dated and they got married and were married 30, 40, 50 years. So right, so you're saying get out of the really, way. You get to get out of the way, because if it didn't mean don't harbor no ill will, just say, you know what, he wasn't for me. Okay. As long as you end that relationship properly with respect, with some grown adult maturity and say, you know, you weren't for me, I wasn't for you, as long as there's no mess and sloppiness and you mess around and you start dating my girl and you treat her like a queen and she's happy and right. if you're really a good girlfriend and my friend is happy, man, well, I mean, you can't even get, you can't get mad at that. I can't. And let me say this. Those are, there are a lot of moving parts in that scenario. One, they had to, you guys had to, yeah, it's like you had to end it, you end the relationship with dignity. You, you know, you have to make sure that your friend is good friend, you know, girlfriend material and that he, yes, he might not be a good guy for you, but he's not a bad guy altogether. He's just not for you. There are a lot of moving parts in that. And a lot of situations, people don't break up properly. You know what I'm saying? So it does kind of make it like one of those things. So it is, and, and I, and I get what you're saying. And, and absolutely, you know, some people do believe that one of my, one of my best friends feel that way. Hang on, I want to see if Sporty Angel or Andreas, my co-host, if they have any questions for you at this point. You guys have any questions for for uh, for Melinda? I, I just have a statement. I don't have no questions. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Andreas. I'm passionate and honest. Yeah, oh, she, just stop trying to pick up on my friends. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm not. I just already said that I am not Chuck Willary. I am not doing no love connections. Y'all got to do that on your own time, and I'm not having it. I don't have no teeth. <laughs> I don't have no I'm not. Teeth. I'm not a blocker. Let's be clear. I'm not a blocker, but I'm not going to clear the lane for you either. <laughs> so uh, you got to put in your what? What they say in training day? No, nah, man, you got to put in your own work around here. So <laughs> that's the way it is. Kiki, you know I'm always out. Hey. No, for real. Kiki can't wear those damn uh, maxi dresses and stuff. That summertime kicks everyone's ass with Kiki when she walks. I'm like, oh Lord Jesus. And I'm not a hater. I just, I'm like, damn it, just don't walk next to me, sis. You just go it's, on back it's, there. It's, but, it's fun. That's the funniest thing. Melinda has been like that since day one since she met me. The first day she met me, she was like, damn, turn around. Damn, like really, really? You just gonna do that? And that's how she greets me. She be like, "Hey, girl, give me a hug." And then she be like, "Turn around, let me see." <laughs> it's still there, not going anywhere. Each other, like I oh, never absolutely. have nothing negative. This day. it's always uplifting in spirit absolutely. because I give my girls who who are working it, I give them one hundred percent props all the time. We're friends, you know, for real, and we got each other's back. Then whoever's doing whatever, it is what it is, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But how? I must mm -hmm. think this. Now that I've gotten it out in the chat room, I can talk about it a little bit better now. Okay. Melinda, please forgive me, but you would never <laughs> ever be a friend of mine, ever. Because <laughs> never ever. You hear me? You fool, and I'm glad you and Kiki good, but I would never be your friend. Because your thoughts oh, wow. that I'm just gonna tell you, girl, hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm hey, Miss Kiki. It's time to play.